All right, in a minute, I will explain to you why we are outside instead of in the studio like we normally are. But what you need to know right now is that the Pixelmator team just released a new update for both of their products that introduces this AI powered auto leveling for your photos, where it uses AI to detect the horizon line and then uses the level tool to automatically make the correction, keep your photos straight and level. Now, they claim that this is going to be a 5x improvement over the built-in framework that they've been using, which was provided by Apple. And so I thought we would come out here to actually put that to the test. Now, their blog post makes it pretty clear that the algorithm works by taking the horizon, detecting that, and then using that as the level line for your photos. So I wanted to try to trick the algorithm a little bit by getting some, you know, clean horizons, but also getting some mountainous horizons, some horizons that are obscured from above by trees, some horizons that are obscured below by grass and leaves and maybe even the water, and then take all of that back to the studio and see which ones it struggles with and which ones it does well with. So with no further ado, let's jump into it and take those photos. I do slightly crooked on purpose, now slightly crooked the other way. Um, and just in case you're wondering, I also have the level tool turned on in the app so I can tell that I'm not just accidentally shooting really level photos. All right, let's come over here and let's get some with trees in the way. And it's got leaves blocking the horizon line. I'm not actually quite tall enough. There we go. Okay. And now we are gonna go over on this side, where we're going to get some of the tall reeds, and we'll also have some of the mountains in the background to confuse the shot. I need to be fair, there has to be some horizon in it, so maybe I'll come over here where the reeds are a little shorter. Let's go horizon line. This one looks pretty hard. All right, we're going to get low, and then let's get one that barely has any horizon in it at all. Okay, that might work for the test. Let's pack things up and give it a shot. All right, we're back in the studio. Let's take a quick look at what the old version of Photomator would have done with these photos if we tried to use auto alignment. With these loaded in, I can just go ahead and press Command A to select all of them. So what I can do is come up here to edit eight photos. And then if I just scroll down, I can find auto straighten. And what this will do is automatically apply the straightening for me. Now we're gonna give this a second to process and I'm not expecting amazing results from this old version because I know what it works like. And as you can see, out of all of these photos that we did, uh, let's count three or four of them. So maybe half actually got auto alignment applied. So if we go through and take a look like this one, for example, the alignment makes sense. Even though the mountains obscure the horizon line, we still get a horizon line that develops from shooting across the water. Now compare that to its counterpart here. I can come in here and I can try and straighten it. And you can see it's a pretty heavy adjustment, maybe let's say 11 degrees is about what it takes to get it straightened. And as we go through these, you'll actually see the old algorithm, it has a threshold somewhere between six degrees and 11 degrees where it just can't figure out at all what the horizon line is supposed to be. Now, some of these did surprisingly well, which is this one here where I have all of this grass and these branches and leaves that are obscuring the horizon line, as well as those mountains and the clouds in the background all sort of gradating into each other that would make it hard to potentially, depending on the algorithm, determine what the actual horizon line is. And it actually did an okay job. I wouldn't say it did a perfect job. I might adjust it back maybe one degree, but overall it did a pretty decent attempt. And so we'd expect the new algorithm to do at least as good. So I'm gonna go ahead and update Photomator so we can get the new algorithm. And then, since I noticed in their blog post they used arches and canyon lands, which is right in my backyard, I'm gonna pull in some extra photos from those as well that I've personally taken and see if we get the same results that they do. All right, so if you remember, about half of them had any sort of alignment applied with the old algorithm. So let's go ahead and select all of these again and use the exact same workflow. Now, if you remember, the claim was about a 5X improvement over the old algorithm. Let's see if that's the case. All right, so it looks like we're already getting more results with some uh, notably that didn't get any adjustment applied at all. So I can tell just by looking at the results, there's two of them that don't appear to have an adjustment applied at all. And then just by eyeballing them, all of them look like they have an appropriate horizon line chosen. 
So let's go through one by one and actually take a look and see if we're happy with the results. So this one was the really aggressive one where we had a threshold around 10 degrees or so where the old algorithm was failing. And this one seems to be doing a pretty good job. I still might push it even a little bit farther to there. So maybe one full degree farther than what the algorithm picked. But overall, much better than what the old algorithm was doing. Now this one is interesting. I didn't actually realize from the thumbnail that it had any straightening applied at all. You can see that this is actually the original, which is pretty bad. Uh, and it went all the way to 9.53, which realistically to get this one straightened, I mean, it's like, yeah, 20 degrees almost to get that straightened up. And so that makes me wonder if they do have a limit on how far it will auto rotate or if that's just an inherent limitation of the AI training model that they just didn't train on models that were rotated past a certain point. So Pixelmator team, if you're watching, I would be interested in knowing whether that is an intentional limitation or if that's something that came from the AI model. All right, let's take a look at some of these harder ones. So this one is a panorama, and because you move your hand when you're taking a panorama, it can skew the horizon. And so this one's gonna be much more based on feel. Yeah, okay, I was gonna be surprised if it managed to pull anything off. For me, if I'm looking right here dead center of the image, I might say that a crop or rotation of about a degree and a half is pretty good, but look how bad it makes it look over on this side where my hand clearly strayed. So if we're counting score, I think we have to count this as a miss that it didn't even attempt it. But at the same time, I really don't even know what I would say a win would actually look like for this particular photo because straightening for the middle clearly doesn't make the best call for the entire image. All right, so let's take a look at this one. This is an image I took at the same location from their marketing materials. And it did attempt a little bit of a straightening. And you can see, I'm looking at the tops of these. These are the areas that as a human being, I would be looking for. But if I was writing an algorithm, it would be very hard to write an algorithm to detect these types of things to align to. And that's where I think an AI model actually is going to shine. As an AI model, you can think of has more of a gut feel for how something is supposed to look. And I think this feels right. Like it's identified things that aren't just the horizon line to align to, and it's done a good job, even though it didn't need that much of an adjustment to begin with. And then if we take a look at this one right here, this one is really interesting because there is no clear horizon line at all, but it says it has a rotation applied. Let's see. So this was the original. And if, I, and if I undo that, that actually kind of makes sense. So if you know how gravity works, the layers on these rock formations are all going to be perfectly aligned. And so if I'm looking at this grid, seeing that these lines are actually aligned with these grid markers, obviously these lower ones where it's eroded are gonna be a different story. But these right here in the middle aligning gives me a decent indication that's actually probably a good rotation to apply. So. I am surprised on this one. It picked out a rotation that I would have never thought to actually apply that I think actually works. Now, this is the only one that I think we have a clear failure on. It attempted to straighten it this direction, which is, which is just wrong. It needs to go entirely in the opposite direction. And the other thing I'll, I'll point out that's interesting is that this photo did a better job of getting alignment. It at least went in the right direction, but I think it went too far. And if you remember when I took it, this is the one that I said barely has any horizon at all. So this was like my hard mode photo. And so these are the two that I would consider fails. So that's 11 divided by 13. So that's an 84% success rate compared to what we said was about a 50% success rate. So I don't know how the math works out there, 84% versus 50-ish percent success rate. But the one thing I will say is that it did at least attempt all of them, which is better than what the old one did. Even if this one might still be considered a failure, it at least pulled it in the right direction, even though it overshot it. So I'm gonna count this update as an overall win for the new Photomator update, because at least for the majority of photos, I think it is a clear improvement over the old algorithm. 
Let me know what you thought of this video in the comments, and if you found this helpful, I'm starting the Photomator Masterclass soon, so stick around by subscribing or even get early access by supporting me on Patreon. All right, we'll catch you in the next episode.